Hey, hey everybody, look who it is. It's Toronto Guy here for an episode of Toronto Guy Cooks, just out of the blue because that's how awesome I am. I know you're all bored with whatever your lives are doing, so I figured why not make something? And today we're gonna to be making something awesome, something I've made before, we're gonna make it again. I had to film it because it's so good, so simple. Oh, what are we making? We're making what I like to call blackjack pork and peas. And it's amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's get to it. And we're gonna start with, a hey, what we need for this is a simple little pan. Well, not a little pan, a nice big one. The bigger, the better, because the bigger you use, then the, the cooler people think you are. It's true, trust me. I'm a professional, kind of, sort of. On medium high heat, we're gonna start with, now you can use olive oil, but I used olive oil last time. Today I'm going to use a nice stick of salted butter to add creaminess to this amazing dish. Let's put it in there. We're gonna let it melt, and as it melts, we're gonna sway, because it's very important that you sway. Because if you don't sway, and things turn out wrong, and you were like, hey man, it didn't turn out right, I'm just gonna say, hey, did you sway? Well, that's what happened. So we're gonna let our butter melt, Oh, it already smells excellent, excellent, excellent. And while we let it melt, let's talk about the main seasoning ingredient, fennel. Fennel has a slight black licorice flavor to it. If you don't have fennel seeds, you can use star anise. It's just basically it tastes the same. I'm pretty sure that's where fennel seeds come from. And combined with the sweetness and tanginess of the roasted red peppers, oh, it's just amazing. But well, first we're gonna start by making our pork be a pork loin. What we have here, let's turn the heat down a little. We have three nice slices of pork loin. Pork is very inexpensive. I had, this came from a big chunk, hunk, hunk of pork loin that cost about $6. So yeah, I can make this like another two times if I want to. Well, maybe another one time because I did slice them pretty thick, about a one centimeter. So our butter's melted. Let's start, we're gonna sear our pork. Here we go. Yeah, baby, love it. Here we go. We're just gonna let them cook for a total of five minutes, flipping them halfway. These pork loin pieces are seasoned with salt and pepper. And seriously, when everything's done and the fennel comes into play, that's when people are just gonna be like, hey man, you are the king. Tell me where I can go to donate money to you. Or where you can go, check down below for links of where you can go to give me money. Right on, so let's cook these up, let them sear for about two and a half minutes, flip them, and while we wait for that moment, let's uh, sway, don't forget to sway. But you know what, let's cut to that moment right now. All right, it's been about two and a half minutes that we've been swaying. I've been swaying. Haven't I been swaying, Sally? See, she said yes. All right, now we're gonna flip our lovely pork, which is smelling great. Flip each one over. Oh, look at the color, man. That butter made gave it that awesome brown color, golden brown that I love, that we all love. It's like, they're like marshmallows, roasted marshmallows, but with meat in them. I love it. So now we're just gonna let these cook for another two and a half minutes before we continue. And while we wait for that moment, get a little smoky, let's just go like that. You know, dance while you do this. You know, cooking is like, like plant life. You know how they say, plants, if you play music for them, the plants can hear it and experience. Same with cooking. So you sway and the pork is like swaying with you kind of, sort of, even though it's not doing anything. But yeah, it's awesome. But we're going to wait. We're going to forward real quick. Sway to two and a half minutes right now. All right. That's right. Sway. Sway. Don't forget to sway. That's right. All right. It's been about two and a half minutes. It's smelling and looking amazing in here in this pan. Oh, there we go. Love it. Love it, love it, looking good. Now we're gonna take our pork out, put it back into its awesome little bowl because it's gonna be making its triumphant return later, like a hero, like Gandalf in Lord of the Rings when he returns and helps all the good guys win the fight. So there we go, you can go aside. There we go, well done. And now what we're gonna do with the butter and pork fat still in here. We are going to add our roasted red peppers. You can actually get red peppers and roast them yourself. These were from a jar because I had them laying, well not laying around. I had them, so let's use these. Put them in there. There we go. Oh yeah. Lovely. And to that, one heaping tablespoon or teaspoon of fennel seed. There we go. 
beautiful. Now we're just gonna fry it all up for about two, oh man, for about two minutes. Lower the heat to medium, and it smells awesome in here. That's seriously, the, the, the tanginess and the sweetness of these red peppers mixed with the butter and the pork fat and all oh, the fennel seeds. I can already smell the hint of black licorice now. There's a lot of people out there who are not fans of black licorice. Don't be discouraged. The black licorice flavor, not, it's not overwhelming, it's just enough combined with everything else. It balances out to the point where you're just, you're just going you're gonna, to you're gonna make this and then people are going to taste it and they're going to say, oh, this is so good, can I make out with you? And you're going to say, sorry man, I'm going to make out with myself. That is how awesome I am. Seriously, trust me. There we go. So let's fry this up for about another two minutes as the butter and the pork fat dissolves into our lovely roasted red peppers. Now, as I said, you can make uh, the roasted red peppers yourself. Simply go out and buy a couple of sweet red peppers and roast them. It's not hard to do. I believe I have a recipe that I've done and you can go check it out. You know where to look. Go check it out, it's very simple to do. All right, oh, 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 oh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sway much more. I really wanna make out with myself. Oh, this is so good. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, oh, beautiful. There we go. Oh, smells amazing in here. For realness. Now, it's been about two minutes. Let's give it about another 30 seconds. And as we just discuss more, uh, very simple to make. As you saw, pork loin, roasted red pepper, fennel, seeds, salt, pepper for the, for, for the pork, and then one big can of chickpeas. Very simple, makes a lot, inexpensive. And we're gonna add a couple more things afterwards which are optional, but I recommend them highly. And, oh, oh, come on, man, stop, why do I? Oh, 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 oh I love it, love it, love it. All right, it's been roughly two minutes now. We are going to add one full can of big chickpeas. This is 796 milliliters, also known as 28 fluid ounces. We're gonna add these chickpeas with the juices. There we go, excellent. Give it a stir, give it a nice mix. Let the chickpeas and the roasted red peppers with fennel and that butter and pork fat just mingle, get to know each other. Let them do some swaying on their own because hey, come on man, can't just be us doing the swaying. You gotta give the food a chance to have their little fun, you know? I mean, what's the, I mean, maybe the food wants to sway too. Don't you wanna sway? Yes, we do, see? So there we go, we're gonna give it a little stir. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this come to a boil, which is going to soften the chickpeas up even more as they all dissolve, the liquid dissolves into everything. <sighs> For real, it smells so freaking good in here. And it's only gonna smell better in a little bit. Sway, sway. So we're gonna bring it to a boil. Oh, for real. Oh, raise the heat a bit, back to up to medium high. Sorry I stopped swaying there for a second. Whew. But we're gonna cut to the boiling point right now. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing, Sally? You can't sway. My cat's trying to sway, my cat thinks he's people. You're not a people, you're a kitty. Oh, oh, come on, man. Oh, all right. So our mixture of our sweet roasted red pepper and chickpeas with fennel and the butter and the pork fat is boiling. Oh, let's give it another quick stir. And now we are going to add our pork back into, oh, come on. Oh, I should market this oh, as a cologne. Let's add our pork back. There we go, love it including the pork fat, because pork fat is awesome. Yes. Give it a mix now. We want our pork pieces to the best they can do, to or the, as best as they can, to be touching the surface of the pan. Just bury them a little. Just bury, make a little hole. There we go, around and put the pork pieces in the holes. There we go. Just so they're touching the base at the bottom of the pan. All right, that's good enough. Lovely. Lower the heat to medium cover and we're gonna let it simmer let's set it we're gonna let it simmer for 12 minutes 
there we go, 12 minutes. Oh, did I mention that it smells amazing in here? <sighs> you know, I got 12 minutes to make out with myself. I don't think I've done enough swaying. It's not gonna mind if I'm not swaying. I've swayed enough. So we're gonna go 12 minutes and let it simmer. During this time, probably every, uh, let's say four minutes, give it a quick little stir in there. Keep the pork as best as you can, touching the bottom of the pan. And also during this time, what's gonna be happening, oh, swing, it smells amazing in here. What's gonna be happening, yeah. <laughs> is while it's simmering, the juices in there are gonna evaporate slowly and it's gonna thicken the sauce and you're just gonna wanna sway. You're not even gonna wanna eat this for real. You're just gonna wanna look at it and then sway. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna cut to 12 minutes. But as I said, about uh, every four minutes, give it a decent little stir. Make sure your pork pieces are still touching the bottom of the pan so they can finish cooking through and they soak up all the juices and everything thickens. And we're gonna cut to that. Just let me sway more. Oh yeah, you know what, let's just cut to that right now. Hey baby, I like the way you sway. Thanks man. So what do you say after we are done here? You know, we hang out a little bit, you know, do some swaying together. I don't know about that. I'm loyal to one person and one person only in that. All right, there we go, that's 12 minutes. All right, oh, smells amazing in here. Oh, let's take a lid off. Let's turn off the heat. Ah, oh. Now, I'm pretty sure that I said stir every four minutes. What I actually meant to say is flip, turn the pork every four minutes. So that's what I did a uh, total of about three times. Oh, man, let's take a look at it. Oh, it smells so freaking awesome in here, damn it. Oh, looking good. All right. We're now going to take our pork awesomeness. We're going to set them aside on a plate so they can sit for a bit and just enjoy and reminisce about the awesome times they had before we take them and slice them up. Yeah. And while they're sitting aside, I'm going to give our mixture a little stir. And it, oh, oh, come on, man. Oh, damn. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, oh, so about two minutes while we're doing that we're gonna add our optional stuff I do highly recommend this I'm gonna add a splash of red wine vinegar to add some more there we go might have been a little too much but I'm a fan of tanginess oh, and it's gonna bring some more tang back to everything after the chickpeas were all uh, selfish and soaked up a lot of the red pepper tanginess so we're gonna add more tangy to them and a little bit of olive oil maybe a little more there we go Awesome. Give it a quick stir. Oh, well, a nice, oh my God. Oh, the vinegar's like, oh man, the king is here. Oh, 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 awesome, awesome. There we go. We're gonna let it sit. Oh man. Oh, did you sway? Hope you did because otherwise you're gonna fail. We're gonna let this sit. And after about two minutes, oh, for real, man, why do I torture myself with my awesomeness in the cook zone? For real. After two minutes, we're gonna slice up one of one or two of our pork pieces, and then we're, we're gonna bowl our awesomeness. Oh, for real. Oh, links down below are where you can go to support me, give me money, so I can get a better setup in here. And you don't have to just watch me sway. You can actually watch my entire sexy body sway. So go check it out. Until then, we're gonna skip to two minutes <sighs> to the bowling section. Not bowling as in strike, but uh, you know what I mean. Let's skip there now. All right, so it's been two minutes and it smells. Oh, it just smells in here awesome. Oh, I should give tours to this place just so that people can come in and smell it in here. Let's give this another final stir. And as Ty, as you have this, the mixture, you can of course make this this chickpea and the red pepper with fennel mixture on its own without the pork, if you're one of those people. It still tastes amazing. And as time goes by, 
it'll thicken even more. The sauce will thicken. It'll be amazing. Oh, it's still amazing. Oh, let's have a little taste because I'm 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 selfish. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Me. <laughs> Love it. Mmm. And I sliced up our pork. Oh. Here's a nice little piece which I'm gonna eat right now because it's uh -huh. oh mmm. Mm, mm. Oh man, it soaked up the fennel and the sweetness and the tanginess is freaking amazing. And now we're gonna bowl it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna bowl it. Alright, you get out of here, man. You've been spoiling spoiled the whole damn show, man, you spatulas. Wouldn't you love to be a spatula? I'd love to be a spatula, man. All the adventures they get to have, it's amazing. Oh yeah, alright, let's bowl it. Put as much as you like. I'm going to be taking a picture, so I don't want to put too much in it. I don't want it overflowing over the bowl edges. So, let's add another little bit. Alright. And there we go. That's good. Of course, if you want to add more color to it and more in general, you can add some green to it with some kale, some chard, some... Oh, come on. Oh my god, that's amazing! Alright, some whatever. Now, let's add our, hand, our personally selected pieces of lovely volunteer pork there we go so it'll look pretty for the picture we're pretty enough there we go and there we go there's no room for more oh well haha <laughs> you'll get none oh mm. Mm. oh i'm gonna make out with myself again after this but as usual the lighting here does not do any justice so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture and insert it right here and there you have it kids Blackjack, pork, and peas. So amazing. Now you may, uh, what I did is I forgot to, uh, I forgot to do it until after I snapped my fingers because it's been a while since I recorded a full length cooking video is that I drizzled some of the juices, some of the sauce from the chickpea mixture over the pork to give it that extra juiciness. Yeah, and then took the picture. Oh, Patreon.com slash Toronto guy. Go there for podcasts. And if you want to give me money, give me money. Ah, oh, Blackjack. The reason it's called Blackjack is because of the black licorice flavor to it. it. Tastes amazing. This has been Toronto Guy cooking. And we'll see you again whenever that'll be. Have a lovely day.